Okay, we are now working to solve pro uh, problem set two, problem two, which is about the handing code, and this problem required a solution strategy. So, I'll describe a little bit of what I expect to see inside a solution strategy for this problem. The first thing that I would expect to see is that you mentioned that the handing code is a code with distance three. Um, that means we can actually correct an error and what's nice about the handling code is it's laid out in such a fashion that we can just use um, parity checks essentially to mark out which bits are an error and the main thing is if we label each of these bits with from one to seven and I can't count apparently so this is six, seven, one through seven 1, 2, and 4 are the base that we need, basis that we need to be able to describe all the numbers in the sequence. So these are our parity bits, P1 and P2 and P4. And then we're going to use that to describe our bits here. So this is our code that's going to be in the X2, X1, X0 spots. And so essentially what we want to do in order, to first we ought to find it, use the parity bits um, and what they what they are associated with. So P1 is associated with 1, 3, 5, and 7. 2 is with 2, 3, 6, and 7. And 4 is part of 4, 5, 6, and 7. So we're going to use that um, to determine potentially if an error a bit is an error. And then the second thing we need to do is um, correct any bits that are wrong and then extract bits 3, 5, 6, and 7 to determine our code word. And so just kind of talk about that as our step-by-step -step strategy. And so I'll now do exactly that. So um, I'm going to XOR P1, X3, XOR, X2, XOR, X0, or 1, 3, 5, and 7. And basically, this will be 0 when the parity is even, which means no error has occurred, or that um, it'll be 1 when the parity is odd. So, or when the number of 1s is odd. Sorry about that. So I have 0 plus 1, 2, and 3, which means that we have an error. So this is called check fit 1, C1. We have an error. associated with C1 somehow. And then P1, sorry, P2, X or, so it's gonna be X3, X or, X1, X or, X0. And we're just gonna count up the bits again. So one, two, three. So we have an odd number, so this would indicate one. And this would be our check fit Two, and now we need to do P, P4. So that's going to be P4 X or X2 X or X1 X or X0. And so we count these up: zero, one, two. So that's zero equal to C4. So bit in error equals. Uh, C4, C2, C1, just like any binary code, and it's just 0, 1, 1, which equals bit 3. So we need to correct bit 3. So correct code equals 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and message. going to equal um, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So zero, one, zero, one. And that's all we need to do. And now uh, I'll do one more on this video and then I'll just write the rest and you can look at that on the PDF. So part B, we have one, one, zero, one, 
0.001 and we're just going to go through this a little bit faster um, C1 is going to equal I'm just going to write down 1XOR 0XOR 0XOR 1 which is equal to 0 C2 is equal to 1XOR 0 here, x or 0, x or 1, and I have, <laughs> this should be 0, I'm going to have to rewrite this, and this is going to be checked with 0, c4 is going to be 1, x or 0, x or 0, x or 1, which again is 0, which means no bit is an error. So, no error. And, um, we need to figure out our message. There's going to be this bit, this bit, this bit, and this bit. So, zero, 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 001. And you can follow a similar procedure for the remaining. Uh, parts of problem two.